DSU song and dance team Raging Red opened up the 2018 State of the University address at the Cox Auditorium by singing the national anthem. Dixie State student body president introduced DSU's mantra, invite and unite. Where every conversation that we have with a student, it leads to an invitation to an opportunity to unite them with the university. Besides students, faculty, staff, and the board of trustees were all recognized for their commitment in making Dixie State the fastest growing university in Utah. DSU was also recently ranked among the nation's best colleges in the nation. U.S. News and World Report took about 1,800 regionally accredited institutions and broke them down into 10 different categories. DSU came up number seven. And I think we should give ourselves a real hand. The 18th president of Dixie State University, Dr. Richard well, Biff Williams, gave his fourth State of the University address, touting success using planned goals. Our base budget has increased $25 million. And that's because people are recognizing that we have a plan, we're executing that plan, but also it recognizes our community, our mayors, our chamber of commerce, our commissioners, all our city leaders, but also all our local legislators that are in Salt Lake, that are sharing the good news about Dixie State and everything that we're accomplishing. He said the university has been graciously supported over the years by entities statewide. One of Dixie's more recent additions is Innovation Plaza. Dr. Wayne Provost was recognized for his contributions in helping to file over 68 patents on inventions. Dr. Provost was then honored with a bison that was rolled out onto the stage with his image on it. The Trailblazer mascot will be placed on campus for all to view. Also recognized and thanked during the presentation was Lindsay and Laura Atwood, who donated $3 million to DSU. The money will be used to enhance the Innovation Plaza, which will be named after the Atwoods in honor of their contribution. It's an honor, uh, was not expected a little reluctant on accepting it, but uh, thank you. The economy is really going to explode because individuals like Lindsay and Laura Atwood have donated of their time, but also of their treasure. Also unveiled was a half a million dollar donation by the Larry H. Miller Education Foundation. Another building that will be completed next year at this time on campus is the new Human Performance Center. President Williams said they are still hoping to receive money from the legislature for the new science, engineering and technology building. Along with new master's and bachelor's degrees, Dixie State is also expecting another record year of attendance and incoming freshmen. The growth at Dixie State appears to be keeping up with the growth in Washington County, which is the fastest growing in the nation. Much of the growth at DSU can be attributed to the active learning, active life that is promoted in Alex Boyer's Million Dreams video that now has over a million views. President Williams was surprised and humbled at the end of the program with a plaque naming a new staircase to the top of the Human Performance Center after him. Have that is just a tremendous honor and, and, and a shock. I didn't expect that at all and I don't like surprises and so <laughs> it was, uh, it was a, a, a memorable moment for me. Um, my wife and I, we've given our heart and soul to Dixie State and so to be acknowledged like that really meant a lot to us and really touched our heart. All of these successes were celebrated with a cake in honor of Dixie's 107th birthday. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.